said that functionalism was a consensus theory where society works together, essentially. Now, the way this is done, functionalists suggest, is through the primary and secondary socialization process. So we learn how to behave within society and we learn what is acceptable and not acceptable within society. Now, this order is maintained through social control. And you might not have thought about these things before, but when I tell you about them, it, it might become more obvious. But um, to keep society in order, we actually have informal and formal social control going on. OK, so let's think of some examples of informal social control. Now, this would be if someone did something quite minor, but it was socially unacceptable. So maybe they let the door go when someone was approaching a door or they said something inappropriate at, at a formal event. For example, maybe they swore at a formal event or they were, um, you know, offensive. And this would be controlled by through the use of other people behaving, reacting to that. So they might. So the other people that are around may show criticism, disapproval. Um, you know, they may stare at the person, um, make a sarcastic comment. And, and these are ways that it sort of puts that person back in in their place really now there's formal social control as well this is a bit more serious so this is more if we kind of break laws and that kind of thing so we have the informal control and then we have the formal control where we know if we do certain things um we may be arrested or, or fined or you know prosecuted and the way we keep formal control is through um, different agencies, for example, the police and the military and things like that. So that would be kind of the next level of formal control. Now, all of the theories will tend to focus on one or more social institution, but they'll tend to have, you know, a specific one they look at more. So, for example, functionalism has more of a focus on um, the family. We can look, we can use so uh, functionalism to look at the family um, and in a later episode or a later video I'll look at functionalism and the sick role and Talcott Parsons but that's going to have to be another section because that's another whole five minutes or more on its own. Let's think about one particular social institution, the family. Now functionalists suggest that the family has four functions to help society run smoothly. These are to socialise the children, so they can learn the norms and values, how to behave in society correctly. The economic function as well, so bringing money in, so the parents work or one of the parents works brings money into the family um, and again this supports the economy, you know, think of the body, society working as a body, everything working together. Emotional security, so the protection of the, the children and the, the other people in the family. Um, emotional security. And the final one is reproduction and to continue the family. So reproduction of, of um, you know, having more children, keeping society running. And again, these, you know, by doing this, it keeps society running, keeps new workers coming through, people that know how to behave in society. Let's do a really quick recap then. Functionalism, unlike Marxism, it's a consensus theory. So the idea is everything's working more together. Society's running more smoothly together. Society can be seen as a body where the organs of the body are like the social institutions and they almost work together for society to work. Social institutions are the building blocks of society. For example, healthcare, education, the economy, the family. Um, we have formal and informal control in order to keep people and society running smoothly. Informal control will be people making comments, people kind of keeping other people in check. Formal control is through police, military, breaking, you know, if you break laws, that kind of thing, uh, being prosecuted, being fined. And finally, the family in particular as an institution has um, several roles in order to keep society running smoothly. Now, Functionalism will have another part, we'll have another video on the sick role, Talcott Parsons' sick role, which is kind of an offshoot of functionalism, but we'll have to deal with that in another video. So thank you very much. That is functionalism in a very quick overview.